What you are about to hear is another prophecy from the prophet who prophesied Japan's judgments of what 16 years prior to March the 11th, 2011. Jesus declares world war three on sinners worldwide. God is pissed off at sinners worldwide. Therefore, he has officially declared the start of WW3 on Earth. It is not being started by Russia, ISIS, Israel, or any other Kazarian mafia greed of greed and genocide regimes, but by God Almighty, Jesus Christ who is the hypocrite's greatest terrorist. The world is ignoring his worldwide command to repent of sinning. This call began November the 19th, 2000. And 13, God has no more options but general mercy and patience with sinners on earth. Therefore, he resorts to getting the big stick out and beating sinners to death in most cases, in hopes that some may finally cave in and repent. Jesus is not all love and hugs, as false preachers like Joel Osteen have been lying to you. He is a man of war. Exodus 15, 3. Repent or perish. Luke 13, 3 to 5. Matthew 16. Now, when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they say, Matthew 11. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Look at him, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet, wisdom is justified by her deeds. I speak up to thee this day, and I say, when I came to earth as a man, I came with the message crying out for men to repent. That is, to repent, to turn from their wickedness, to turn from their evil, to return to the Father through me. But I say, they rejected my call, they rejected what it was that the Father had me to declare unto them. And I say that I warned them again and again and again that they would be destroyed. But I say, they made light of my declaration, they made light of what it was that I was sent to tell unto them, and they did not regard nor respect me. And I say they are the ones who ended up destroyed, for I say that their hearts were so far from me. And I say they ended up destitute because they refused to believe and receive of me. And I say so it is in these days that men are refusing. I say they are abusing and accusing, and I say they will be destroyed. For I say, when it is indeed the timing of the Father, I say that he sends forth wrath and fury, indignation that no man can stop the same. And I say, when the wrath is kindled, the fury poured forth, I say there is none that can hide nor protect themselves if they have not repented unto me. And I say they may scream and howl and moan in desolation, but what is the end of it all? I say that the end is destruction, damnation, and death unto them, because they refuse repentance, they refuse to return, they refuse to be restored. Now I say in the days of old when I sent my prophets crying out against the sins of my people, I say that it was for the same cause. That is, they were sent to call them to repent, they were sent to let them see their sins, that they could indeed be ashamed of the same. But I say, oftentimes they were not ashamed until they were thoroughly scourged, beaten, and nearly destroyed. And I say it is because they had grown stubborn and proud, blacks bold, and their whoredom loving the same. And I say they had played the whore again and again and again, and I say that their hearts became as hard as stone. Now I say this day that I have been gone, do not call my people to play the whore, to harden their hearts and be found far from me. But I say that I call my people to hearken unto my cry, my call, that I send forth even in these days. And I say that I call my people to walk humbly each day before me, submitting themselves unto me. And to be ever yielding to the truth, the light that I provide ever made glad for my way. Now I say this day when I live in God to give the call to all, and they will hear and obey, then I say they are guided forth in my way. And yes, they are given the light upon the path, for it is me, the living God, who is well able to give to them the same. And yes, they will be directed and corrected and shown that it is only through me that the truth can continue to be poured forth upon humankind. For I say that it is me, the living God, who does bring the light, the truth, and indeed the correction that men are needy of receiving in these days. Now I say you are living in times of rebellion and pride, times when lawlessness is ruling, and many have strayed from the way. And I say they have put approval on that which is wickedness, abomination, and outright sin, and declared that it is now agreeable unto me. But I say they are liars, deceivers, going in the way of the damnation of soul, and leading others in the same likewise. For I say they are full of iniquity and darkness, they are full of lust for sin and evil, that is why they put approval on the same. But I say that if a man will not hate sin and cry out against it and keep himself from sin, 
then I say that he's not found in right standing with me. And yes, he is needy of repenting and returning to my way, which is the straight and narrow way. I say this day that I am a big God and indeed bring forth my wrath and my fury at the be revealed in the intensity that I may pour forth. For I say when I am a big God do rise in my anger and I say that my temper is turned loose upon men, I say there is nothing they can do to save themselves. And I say, though they may scatter and run like rats, though they may seek to protect and keep themselves, though they may think they can be insured against my wrath, it is not true. For I say, there is no insurance that can protect a man from the damage that I bring forth. I say this day, be thankful that you do not need to be the victims of wrath, that you do not need to invite the fury upon yourselves. But I say that you can indeed walk humbly each day, seeking my counsel to be ever guided forth by me. That is, that you do not need to be carrying around the anxiety, the pressure, the fear, the worry of these times. But I say that you can indeed be yielding those burdens unto me, and walking in what it is that I provide. For I say it is me, the living God, who will indeed provide tender mercy and blessedness, strength and hope, and truth to the ones who rely upon me. But I say to the fools who have gone abhorring, who have strayed from my way, I say there is wrath to be revealed upon them. And I say they are worthy of the wrath, they are worthy of the anger, they are worthy of the fury that I bring forth. And yes, there will be endless multitudes who will be destroyed by the same, and likewise ended in hell. For I say when they have the opportunity to repent, they scoff and mock the same. When they had the privilege of returning unto me, they did not do it at all. But I say they kept up the pursuit of wickedness, they kept up the way of lies, and they were devoured by the same. Now I say this day when you see the ones who turn aside the lies, when you see the ones who turn back to be servants of sin, what do you see? I say you see fools that are fools who will be damned because they have chosen to stray from my way. Now I say this day that I, the living God, absolutely do not intend that you would stray from my way and be found far from me. But I say that I intend that you would be uplifted, directed, and ever guided forth by me. And I say that I do intend that you would serve me with gladness, rejoicing, and the giving of praise. For I say it is me, the living God, who is indeed the way that is righteousness and mercy, truth and hope, and peace provided for those who trust upon me. For I say you are meant to be trusting, believing, looking unto me, and following after day after day. And I say you are meant to be ever guided forth in that which I give you, which is the truth and the light, the strength, the hope, and the peace day by day. And I say you are meant to be shown that it is me you can look to and believe. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never ever intended that you would go afar off from me, that you would be taken in the way of fools. But I say that I've been intended that you would be guided each day, giving thanks, praise to me. Now I say there are multitudes who will be found destroyed under my wrath revealed. And I say it is me, the living God, who will rise up in anger against the ones who are so rebellious, proud of their sin, and strutting the same. And it is me, the living God, who will cause them to be utterly devastated because they are choosing the way of their own destruction, the way of damnation, the way wherein they are sealed forever in hell. And I say they will know my wrath upon them in this life when I, the living God, release the same. Now I say there are some who will be bound under the wrath who will cry out and beg for mercy, and yes, I will show them my life in the same. But I say there are others who are so far gone in their rebellion, their hatred towards me, I say they will never repent. And I say when they hear the call, the cry to repentance, they will cringe in anger and hatred under the same. But I say when the wrath is revealed, they will scream out for mercy, but I say that none will be given unto them. And I say it is because in the day of my visitation, they refused me, they despised me, they hated me, and made light of the same. That is, when I was giving forth through my spirit the call to repentance, I say they absolutely did not accept that call. But I say they went on and on and on in the wickedness, the evil, the perversion, and the darkness of who they are. And I say they went on in a way that will prove to be destruction of their souls. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do give you the light and the truth, I say be thankful that you can receive the same day by day. And I say when I do give unto you the mercy and the purpose of who I am, I say be guided forth by me. 
and I say, becoming poor in that which I give you time and again, for I am indeed well able. And I say that I will uplift, direct, and instruct you in the way of my righteousness revealed. Now I say, this day there are those who are plotting and scheming evil and wickedness and loving itself. And I say, they are wanting to go in a way that I never provided the way of their own despair. And I say, all the while they are so proud, so wise in their own conceit, as though they were achieving some great thing. But I say, they achieve nothing but the course of their own damnation and soul. I say, this day do not, absolutely do not be warning over the fools who are so perverse in their pride, so determined to rebel against me when they have known my way. For I say, such ones as these are not pleasing unto me, but a disgust unto my name. And I say, they are hard-headed, stubborn, and proud, and determined to have their way. And I say, they are full of willful disobedience, which will prove to be the sentence of death unto them. For I say, they are the ones who have cut themselves off from life, they are the ones who have suffocated my spirit within them, refusing to obey the commands of the saints. And I say, they are the ones who have flipped themselves into the ways of the world, and think they get by with it all. And I say, all the time, they are so foolish, so proud, so arrogant, so thinking that I do cherish them. But I say that the truth of it is, I hate them because they have hated me. And I say that I hate them because they have despised my way, my mercy, and my truth, and my light upon their path. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to carry false burdens, to be mourning and weeping over the fools who have chosen the way of their own destruction. But I say that I call you to be thankful that you can indeed weep for the ones who have never even heard of me. That is, the ones who are locked in their pagan ways, the ones who are full of the darkness of the same and live in captivity to fear day after day. And I say that I call you to pray that they could indeed be released from the bondage, be released from the darkness, the evil, and brought into me. Now I say this day, if you seek to please me in how you pray, then I, the living God, will hear you when you cry. But I say, if you carry false burdens, if you let your heart go out to rebels, I say you are displeasing me. That is, to the ones who have known me and turned aside, to the ones who have scoffed and mocked my way, to the ones who have filled themselves on the folly of the world. For I say, such fools as these are determined to be destroyed and loving it so. I say, this day, be thankful that you do not need to be bound in whoredom, that you do not need to be bound in the drunkenness that they are in. But you can indeed walk soberly, redeeming the time being guided forth by me. And I say that you can indeed be uplifted, directed, and corrected each day, and given the truth, the light, the strength, the purpose, the mercy of who I am. Now I say this day, do not protest against my way, do not argue with me, but I say, be thankful unto me. And I say, be thankful when I, the living God, do cut off the dead branches that bear no fruit in me. For I say, while they may moan and groan and plead, I say, there is no provision of mercy for them. For I say, they have scoffed and mocked by way for too long, harboring their secret sin, their rebellion, and their hatred for me. I say this day, be thankful that you can indeed be loving to serve me, be coming forth, uplifted and guided by me and directed in my way. And I say, be thankful that you are not amongst the quarries, the vain, the foolish who determine themselves to do it their way. For I say, while they have their way, it is the way whereby they incur my wrath, and it is the way whereby they are destroyed.